The shield you have of your faith is good for nothing unless you use it. Tu fe de cristiano no sirve para nada a lo menos que tú lo usas. See, God says that that is power for you. Dios lo dice y lo está diciendo que es poder. Tu fe es tu poder. The why would you put your power down? And everything else is going to run right over you. Because if you put your shield down, you probably put your sword down. Si pusiste tu escudo para abajo, a lo mejor pusiste tu espada también. If you put your, 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 your helmet, you put everything down. You start putting one thing down, you put another thing down. Pones otra cosa en el piso, pones otra cosa en el piso. And all of a sudden, you got nothing. And all of a sudden, the enemy comes and you're lunch meat. And this is your spiritual life. This is your mind we're fighting for here. Who you are. You know that, that we even need faith to trust God to even wake up tomorrow sometimes. I remember when I was younger, sometimes I was, I was scared of death. Yo tenía miedo de, de morir. And I had to trust God that I was going to wake up the next day. I remember in 2000, uh, 1999, December 31st, 2000, uh, 1999, Y2K. Who remembers Y2K? So you guys are kind of young, we remember, I'm just kidding. We all remember, todos recordamos Y2K. Okay, see, I bought into the hype, you know? And I really thought the next day I was get, it was over, you know? And I really thought that I, I didn't live a good life and I was gonna go to hell. Yo de verdad pensaba que no vivía una vida buena que yo iba en el infierno. And I went to sleep that night thinking I was, I was ready for help. I'm going to hell, you know? My faith was on the floor, it, 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 I, was, I was conquered. Estaba conquistado. But your faith needs to be up. It needs to, I, in fact, my wife doesn't like this, but I'm a big Facebook guy, and the Latino community uh, chooses Facebook as a social media more than anything else. La, la comunidad latina usa Facebook como una herramienta más que los demás. They use it more than Twitter, all that kind of other stuff. You know, so we're different. Los latinos son muy diferentes. But I like to pick fights sometimes. Not on purpose, but I do it because it, it helps me keep my guard up. See, when it's easy for me, cuando está fácil para mí, I get laid back and the enemy just kind of creeps in and just slices your throat. And so sometimes I like to be on guard. I'm like, you know, I'm like a boxer. You know, I got, I got a, spiritually speaking, you know, because physically I'm not there at all. You know, spiritualmente. So I, I, I like to throw something out there that I know somebody's going to attack me. You know, I had a, my wife always gets on me on this because there was this guy, his name's Cruz. I'm not going to give you a full name. But I had him on Facebook for the last two, three years. And when he was first on Facebook, this guy Cruz, he would attack me like a lion, like just someone, you just, just felt his hate for God on them. You just sentía que odiaba a Dios, right? And I would talk to him and have this discussion, my wife's like, why do you keep messing with him? Why don't you leave him alone? He doesn't, he, he just wants to attack everything you say. Like, no, no, it's okay, okay. You know, and then he got rude with me. I'm like, look, if you keep being rude, I'm gonna get you off. You're not my friend anymore, you know, keep it simple, you know? And then and he's like, okay, I'll, I'll calm down. You know, ya se calmó el muchacho, I'll put him back. A year later, we go at it again. You know? And, and, and my wife's like, stop fighting with them. And you know, for the most part, I try not to fight. You know? No quiero molestar nadie. But I'm so adamant about my faith and defending it that I, sometimes I'm like, you know, hey, God, like the movie, God's not dead, I'll put it out there. And all of a sudden, someone says a comment, they're like, oh yeah, what about this? And just answer questions. Not, not, to, not, to, not to kill somebody or destroy somebody. Not para molestar a otra gente, para hacerlo sentir mal. I do it because I want practice of holding that shield. See, the Romans, they were, they were always practicing. They, were all, they knew exactly what to do. Los Romanos se ven como hacerlo. And the moment you forgot how to do it, the moment you forget how to work together, you, you get destroyed. And many of you guys here haven't put that shield up enough times. Some of you guys don't even like picking it up because it weighs so much. Uno de ustedes no le gusta levantarla, but you gotta pick it up. It's gotta mean something, or else you're gonna fall for anything out there. I know a friend of mine, they go to amigo in college at Bethel. He was part of the smartest guy in our class. And at Mas Sabio de Toro nuestra class, he was like, he was weird smart. He was like smart, like, like he didn't take a shower smart. You know what I mean? Like, you ever met those kind of people I like conocido? They're so smart that they, they can't function, right? In society sometimes. You know? But long story short, you know, he, he could he could debate anything, but his faith was just so not practiced that he ended up living on the streets as a Buddhist. So he was on the basura, living on the street, living on the street. You know, his faith, he had no way to know how to use it. He didn't know how to pray. He felt like if he prayed too passionately that it was like weird, you know? And so you gotta ask yourself, do you use your faith? Levanta, do you, levantas tu protección, tu, 
Escudo, there you go. My Spanish isn't as perfect as some people here. Um, Hebrews 10, 38. Hebreos 10, 38. El justo vivirá por fe. The just shall live by faith. God says that if you're seeking him, si tú no estás buscando, you're going to live by faith. I mean, literally, let your faith penetrate every area of your life. Que tu fe penetre todo. Let faith impact your marriage. You know, I'll even go farther than that. Is that your mom kiss Let faith impact your sexual life as in a, in, a marriage, in a marriage. Let your faith impact the way you eat. Let your faith impact the way you comb your hair. Let your faith impact the way you comb your hair. That, that, that's an idea for you. Or for someone that don't have it, you know. Let your faith impact the way you dress. Oh, that's a real one. Let your faith impact the way you talk. Let it affect the way you talk to women or to talk to men. How you provoke people or how you look at people. Let it impact you. Let, hey, is this something that, that God wants you to be doing? And maybe it's radical for some of you guys. A lo mejor radical, but let your faith impact everything in your life. I dare you. I dare you to make your faith count in your life. Te, te reto que tu fe cuente para algo. You weren't just born to get old, get chubby like me or just whatever and just die. Pitiful life, sad life, to see someone with potential and not live it out. Those of us that have kids or little brothers or sisters that maybe went the wrong way, he's like, you have to do so much. And that's what God says. The Bible says that the faith comes through hearing and hearing the word of God. Okay, so how do you make your faith stronger? ¿Cómo vas a ser tu fe más fuerte? Because I was weak, man. I was, when, I, when I started with God, when Diego me said, I was 14, 15, 16, I was weak, I was pathetic, and I just said, God, help me. God, help me. God, build my faith. Dios, ayuda me. And so I didn't know a lot of things about life. I wasn't street smart. I didn't know how to do things. But one thing I didn't know is to read the Bible. Read the verses. Memorize things. It's leer la Biblia and memorizar los versos and get it into your mind. And there's a saying, even the secular world knows this. Whatever you feed your mind, whatever you read is going to dictate where you're going. Some of the most famous people, la gente más famosa del mundo, han escrito libros acerca de esto. The most famous people have read, whatever you read, whatever you put your eyeballs on, that is what your life is going to display. I see what this is to be there. And so are you reading just some secular things or some garbage, or are you going to read something that's biblically based? Algo que es de Dios. Are you going to watch YouTube videos of just funny, stupid things? Or vas a ver video? Are you going to watch videos that maybe edify you a little bit? Maybe, maybe cause you to maybe praise God a little bit at night. What do you, what do, you choose? When you relax, they say, find out what a person does in their spare time and you're going to find out what kind of Christian they're in. Ve lo que un cristiano hace en su tiempo libre y vas a ver la calidad de cristiano que es. If you walk, whether you just took that first step to get closer to Jesus or whether you're further down the line, take a step closer. Listen to God a little bit more. Escucha su palabra. Read something that builds your faith. And not just theologically, you know, not just these red ideas, but actually put something in, in concrete practice. Do you, do you give your hand out to the poor? Do you love the person that's unlovable? Then you go. Oh. Put, put, put your faith in practice. Do something. If you don't serve in any way, if you want a better quality of life, serve people. Si quieres una mejor manera, calidad de vida, sirve a alguien. And you don't serve someone that you can't get a, good, can't get a benefit out of. That's you. If you want a better quality of life, quieres una vida de más calidad, sirve de alguien que no te puede dar algo para atrás. Let your faith come for something. And at the end here, don't worry, have faith. No te preocupes, ten fe. See, all of us at one point or another, we're going to have these worries about life. Vamos a tener estas preocupaciones de vida. You're going to worry about something. My wife, we've got, we're going through some stuff right now uh, with some legal things that are going on. And we still got to remember to have faith. Tenemos que recordarnos, even you're strong, you've been in church all your life, but there's, there's going to be some little thing, algo va a pasar donde tu fe va a ser probada. Something's going to happen when your faith is going to be tested. And is your faith going to mean nothing for you then? Or is it going to be for something in your life? 